Hello everyone, this is BMY back with another pack opening for you guys. Sorry, I know it has been a long time since the last video, but yes, I'm back today once again. So today I'll be doing a packs comparison between the attack mode and all pro pack. We'll be opening five of each to see which is the better packs for the next two days. Let's go. Alright guys, I will be opening the first attack mode pack and I would like to thank Test Gaming for the intro he has done for me. You guys can check out his channel in the description down below. So for my very first pack, unfortunately we have not packed anyone good. So let's move on to pack number 2. Hopefully this time round my pack luck will be much better. I'm not sure how's the attack mode pack for you guys but yes, I hope it has been great for you. So let's move on to pack 2. We have not gotten anyone good again for pack 2. So pack 1 and 2, we have gotten nothing. So let's move on to pack number 3. Hopefully luck will be better this time round. Let's go have my pack. Holy shit guys. I have packed ultimate flashback Fernando Torres from the attack mode pack. You guys can see this is a legit pool from the attack mode pack. Guys, wow. Oh my god. I'm so speechless right now. Okay, I have packed Torres. Okay, but let's move on to pack number 4. Let's go from the right to the left. Hopefully, I can once again pack another ultimate flashback player. Okay, it's not likely to be packed 4. Let's move on to the last attack mode pack. Hopefully, this time round. Okay, I'm not going to complain because I have already gotten the Fernando Torres. But it will be great. But yeah, we have not gotten any elite players from the last attack mode pack. So right now, let's move on to the all pro pack with the attack mode pack having an ultimate flashback player. I guess it's pretty hard for the all pro pack to be better. But let's see, in my very first pack, have I got any good players? Okay, no, we have got, not gotten any good players in pack number one of the all pro pack. So let's move on to pack number two. Maybe pack number two, we'll get ourselves some good players this time round. Let's move on from the right to the left. We have gotten Burnett. Okay, we have gotten an elite Burnett from pack number two. So. Well, it's not too bad, but I'm not sure if I've gotten my money back. But it's okay, we have got Fernando Torres from the attack mode pack. So let's move on to pack number 3. We have gotten Mares. Okay, so Mares is not bad actually, right mid. So I'm not sure of his price once again, but I guess it's a profit pack. Alright, let's move on to pack number 4. Hopefully this time round, another back-to-back -back elite pack. Okay, let's see, right to the left. Can I pack someone good? Okay, we have not packed anyone good for pack number 4. But well, we are done with the very last pack. So hopefully the last one, we can pack ourselves some insane player. Hopefully, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi in this pack. Okay, we have not gotten anyone. But well guys, I think you guys have already seen for yourself which packs is the better one for the next two days. As you guys can see from my item list right now, I have gotten the UFB Fernando Torres from the attack mode pack. And he's one of my favorite players in the past, so I'm really happy about the pool. Not forgetting, we have also gotten Mares and Bernard from the All Pro pack. All in all, the attack mode pack seems to be the better one. So if you guys want to spend some coins in these two days, you may want to consider the attack mode pack instead. If not, just wait for the Castle A packs that are coming real soon. So before I end this video, if you guys have not joined the week 9 game show, the link to sign up will be in the description down below. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and also leave a like to show your support. So till the next video, love you guys, stay cool. Yeah.